Instruments and contact are the basic building block of all sound and contact, and there are many ways to create them. But instruments are also made up of smaller pieces called groups, and even smaller other zones. In today's tutorial, we'll talk about creating contact instruments, creating and editing zones, creating and editing groups, and using instrument insert effects. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash adsrtoots. There are a couple different ways to create instruments. You can use a files button, or you can drag samples from the browser or your desktop. Let's start by making a new empty instrument by using a files button. And to edit an instrument, you click on the wrench icon, which allows you to enter instrument edit mode. Now to manage the samples of the instrument, you use the mapping editor. Now let's add some samples to our new instrument. So just browse to a folder with some samples that you want and drag it into the zone grid. A highlighted region will tell you where the zone will be created on the keyboard. And when you release the mouse button, the zone will be created. If you want to cancel, just move your mouse outside of the zone grid. You can also drag samples from your desktop using Windows Explorer or Finder on a Mac. Now, if you drag a single sample onto the zone grid, a zone that spans the entire velocity range and on one or more adjacent keys will be created. Now, if you move your mouse all the way to the bottom of the grid, a zone will be created on a single key. And if you move your mouse upwards, it'll gradually enlarge the keyboard range of the zone until it spans the entire keyboard when you get to the top of the grid. <sighs> and if you drag multiple samples onto the grid, the corresponding number of zones that evenly divide the velocity range on that key will be created. And just like single samples, the mouse position will determine the size of each zone's key range. So if you move your mouse all the way to the, to the top of the grid, Samples will be layered in overlapping zones that span the whole key range. Also, when dragging multiple samples, the sort order of the samples in the browser will determine the order in which the zones will be created. So after you create your zones, you can edit the keyboard range by shrinking or enlarging the zones horizontally. You can also change the root by selecting the zone and dragging the highlighted key to the desired root node. And to change the velocity range, shrink or enlarge the zone vertically. A useful feature if you're using a MIDI keyboard is to use the turn on select zone via MIDI. I don't have my MIDI controller connected at the moment, but if I did, I would be able to use my keyboard to select these zones without using my mouse to click on them. You should now be able to play samples by pressing the corresponding notes on your MIDI controller. If contact doesn't respond, just make sure that your MIDI controller is set up properly in contact or in your DAW. Now, when you create zones, they're all in the same group by default. Groups allow zones to use a common signal path. They also allow you to define the conditions in which the zones will be played. They allow you to adjust the zone voice allocation, and they provide a way to edit multiple parameters at the same time. 
So let's move our newly created zones into separate groups. So click on a group editor to open a group editor. In the mapping editor, select one or more zones that you would like to assign to a group. In the mapping editor, select edit, move zones to new empty group. Now, if you made settings to the, to the current group and you would like to keep them, use move zones to new clone group. And then you just repeat for the rest of the zones that you would like to have in their own group. Also, groups can be exported and imported to your hard disk by using the group edit menu. In the group editor, disable edit all groups to prevent any unwanted parameter changes to other groups. So when you want to edit one group at a time, disable edit all groups and select the group that you want to work with. Now, if you want to make multiple parameter changes for all groups, then click on edit all groups. You can rename groups by double clicking on the name. The group editor also has a select by MIDI function as well. This allows you to select the group by using your MIDI controller. Same as the mapping editor. So now we have a playable instrument with zones in different groups. Let's add some effects to make it interesting. So in the instrument in insert effect slot, Click on the first um, plus sign, choose EQ, three band EQ. In a three band EQ, adjust the parameters to your liking or select the preset using a preset chooser. The group insert effects and the instrument insert effects in contact are processed in the order in which they are placed in a chain left to right. These effect chains can be saved as presets and used in other instruments. Try out some of the factory presets to get some ideas. Contact is a multi-timbral, multi-output, and multi-port virtual instrument. You can change each of our instruments to respond to all MIDI ports or channels or a specific MIDI port and channel. We can also change the channel output of the instrument. Let's change both of these instrument settings now. To change the instrument's output, click on the output name in the instrument header to open a drop down menu with all of the currently defined output channels. Since I'm using contact standalone, there's only one channel. If I go to the output section and add one more, I come back to my instrument, I'm now able to select channel two. The available outputs will be determined by your sound card, sound card or your DAW settings. To change the instrument's MIDI port channel, click the MIDI port name in the instrument header to open a drop down menu with all of the, the available MIDI ports and channels. Choose a port channel that you would like the instrument to respond to incoming MIDI. Contact supports four ports, MIDI ports A through D, each having 16 channels. Contact also supports Omni. Choose Omni if you would like the instrument to respond to any MIDI port or channel. So as you can see, it's quite easy to create and configure instruments in Contact, but there's a lot more functionality of Contact that we have yet to tap into. We touch on the mapping editor, the group editor, effects and instrument header, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. In later tutorials, we'll delve more into the intermediate and advanced features. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contact tutorials for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharger contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Lego make some music.